so a little while ago posted up a video of the plant room with two kestens and uh, a little while after uh, we were already thinking to renew the boilers but uh, the COL alarm activated the old plastic flues that got an issue apparently um, you could see burn marks on where someone had hit them with a low lamp uh, with the copper so we didn't investigate the source of the CO anyway um, due to the fact they're coming out we just uh, once they were turned off, there was no CO in the room, so that was it. Just the final, the final nail in the coffin for the Kestons. So they've lasted 10 years, which I think is pretty good for a Keston. Um, but they were a complete mess. So anyway, here we have a pair of domestic 32s. So this is no longer a commercial installation. This is now a domestic installation with under 70 kilowatts to the water. Um, so what I've got at the moment, I've got a little flush going on here. The only part of the old system that's going to be connected to the boiler is the coil on the Wiesmann cylinder here. Um, so I've got that under going a flush at the moment. I want to make sure that's absolutely spotless before I fire up the boilers. Uh, plate separated these two. Uh, now this is something I've not done before. Normally if I've plate separated a pair of boilers, I'll have an individual pump on both. But we've got this big pump set here. Now, I think this is uh, grossly oversized, but um, I haven't done any calculations to prove it. Um, but um, these are 4120s. I think those are, are 4060s over there. I think those would have been more than ample to run the underfloor heating in the house. But um, anyway, we're going to try using these. But um, this is on um, reverse returns, which um, would have been for the original pair of boilers, I guess. And I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a go. And I've ordered a couple of flow, flow meters to go in the flow pipes on this side. I've got the insulation field back, but uh, they're arriving from Germany due to the fact they're, they're very high flow rate ones. Um, and uh, so hopefully later today, I'm going to be uh, filling this all up. I've got the electrics to do yet. And, uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go about those. It's originally run from this BMU, but that's not needed anymore. I just need to uh, plug them in, basically. Plug them in, and then I'll run. Those two bronze pumps will run from my boilers, so I'll disconnect the wiring from there. They'll come back to my boiler. And uh, not sure about these pumps yet. Got to work this out. I don't know what the uh, drawer of those are. Can't run those, I don't think, directly from my boiler. Um, so uh, I guess I'm going to have to use some kind of relay for those. But I'm um, going to work it out as I go along. Uh, as normal with my jobs, a little bit of working out as we go through. Um, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I removed... Uh, originally, if you watched the other video, originally there was a blending valve here, which I thought uh, came down joined into there which I actually thought was just plumbed in wrong for the underfloor. Um, if it operated, it short-circuited to the boilers. But then what I realised later, of course, was that was originally back-end protection for a non-condensing boiler. Um, and when they changed it for the Kestons, they've left it in. So uh, luckily it was working well to prevent the Kestons from condensing and making sure they were running as inefficiently as possible. Um, but anyway, it's out now, so... Uh, Gonna get our boilers weather comped and running beautifully.